Hello and welcome to It's Your Case, brought to you by VetCT.com. I'm Lucy Meehan, I'm your radiologist on demand for this case. Um, so today we're doing an equine case. We've got a nine-year-old warm blood mare who has a non-healing wound of four weeks duration. So the radiographs that we've got on the screen, on the left of the screen we've got a lateromedial view of the right tarsus, a dorsolateral plantar medial oblique view of the right tarsus, a dorsal plantar and a dorsal medial plantar lateral oblique view. So we've got the standard four views you'd expect of the tarsus. The first thing to look at is our um, soft tissue. So we can see here we've got quite a marked dorsal soft tissue swelling overlying the level of the distal tarsal bones. We can see there's a small V-shaped uh, lucency within that soft tissue swelling and actually a soft tissue swelling um, peaks at that point. As we come further distally, we can see we've got some radiopaque um, hair-like structures which probably represent a discharge or matter caught within the hair just on the skin surface there. If we look at our dorsolateral plantar medial oblique, we can see that that swelling is quite, you know, it comes quite far around the dorsal medial side of the limb, which we can also see in the uh, dorsal plantar as well. And we can see that dorsal swelling in all of the views. So we know that's there. We can see that there is a, a defect in the skin surface. So we can see that that uh, it probably has, that's where our wound is. So we've got some soft tissue swelling associated with the wound and some skin irregularity. Now we've looked at the soft tissues, we can go and look at our bony structures. So if we look at our lateromedial, we can see very clearly through our Taylor calcaneal joint, our proximal intertarsal, distal intertarsal and tarsal metatarsal joints. And we can see that on all of our images. Um, so they're nicely positioned images. I'm not seeing anything that I'm concerned about associated with the distal tarsal joints. But as we come distal on the um, third metatarsal bone, we can see that we have got some irregularity on the dorsal medial aspect of that bone. Just see that here and we can see that here. So it looks like we've got a little bit of a scooped out lesion within the dorsal cortex of the third metatarsal bone there. And we have got on both of these views just a small circular mineral opacity um, close to the bone which possibly represents some mineral um, that may be associated with the bone here. So you can see we've got quite a lot of debris on the skin surface so if we just had that in one view I'd be a bit concerned it was just skin surface debris but because it's so close to the bone it's in a very similar position on both views I think that is actually probably real and probably originates from this bone surface. So as you're probably aware, when horses get wounds and that disrupt the periosteum of the bone, um, you can get sequestrum formation. And I think that's what we've got here. We've just got a little sequestrum. If you've got a sequestrum present, um, the wound isn't going to heal. So you do need to then think about removing that sequestrum in order to help the wound healing. So it may be one for the surgeons to get their scalpels out and um, just go and debride that and, and get rid of that little bony sequestrum there. This um, defect in the bone here is called an involucrum. So you've got the sequestrum, which is the little bit of bone, and then the involucrum is the, the area that it's sat in. Usually they're a bit smaller, usually they're the same size as the sequestrum, but sometimes you can get them that are a little bit bigger like this. I think that was everything that I was concerned about with those radiographs. So um, I hope that answers any questions that you may have. And if you have got any questions, please do remember it is your case. So feel free to ask those on our social media platforms. We'll be back next week with another equine case for you. And um, so until then, goodbye.